Touchstone Pictures presents the true story. Want to give me a hand? Of an unforgettable filmmaker and his legacy that will live forever. This is the one. What do you think the, the message is of Ed Wood's films? I mean, is there something good to be taken from this? Just pursue your dream, or I think that you know, I think that Ed Ed Wood was wrongly uh, uh, accused after after his death of being well, actually before his death, he was called the worst director of all time. I I disagree. I, I think that Ed made interesting films. I think Glenna Glenda is. Uh, masterpiece in some ways uh, you know you don't when you when you when you have the the, the uh, idea to to superimpose Bela Lugosi over some stampeding <laughs> buffalo uh, while he's screaming pull the string uh, to me that is uh, inspirational uh, stuff um, so so I think that uh, had it not been for let's say Ed Wood there may not have been a John Waters or a yeah. Tim Burton or a David Lynch, you know, so uh, I, I, I applaud it, but I admire him. He had a passion for storytelling. Get me transvestite. I need transvestite. Was the uh, a picture a hard sell in Hollywood? I, mean, I can imagine people saying, why Why do you want to do this? Well, I, I, I can only say that I think that Tim Burton is probably the only man in Hollywood who could have gotten a film made about a transvestite film director. <laughs> in the early 50s, shot in black and white. Um, it probably was a hard sell, but Tim has a certain amount of uh, a golden boy in the you know, so. Could you imagine a relationship like this after actually occurring somewhere? I mean, a woman with a guy who just happens to like to dress up in women's clothes. Well, I think I saw it on, like, Sally Jessica Biel last <laughs> well, week. No doubt. Yeah, it's more palatable than ever. It on We're Sally. only hoping. <laughs> it's on all those shows every day. Now. Yeah. Have you learned something about you know, women's clothing and uh, what they go through? I learned too much about women's clothing. <laughs> I, the first thing I learned is that Angora feels amazing on someone else, not on you. <laughs> uh, the second thing I it's learned... It's a bit of a nuisance. It looks good, but it's yeah. like... Yeah, I think the majority of us inhaled more Angora than oxygen. <laughs> uh, there's fur balls everywhere. Edward D. Wood Jr. was an oddball artist who wrote, directed, produced, and sometimes acted in his own science fiction movies. Edward is portrayed by actor Johnny Depp. Edward was a, obviously a complex character. He was a dreamer. He was a drunk. He was a pornographer. How did you decide what qualities to bring out for this portrayal? Um, oh, the, first, the first thing I thought, well, Tim and I had sort of sat down and outlined Ed. The first thing he talked about was Mickey Rooney the Andy Hardy movies and uh, <laughs> that sort of enthusiasm and then I started getting these kind of demented visions of uh, Ronald Reagan making these blindly optimistic speeches while the world was uh, exploding <laughs> around him <laughs> um, and then you know like, uh, uh, kind of salesmanship quality to uh, Casey Kasem and, uh, <laughs> the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz was yeah. also the combination of traits yeah it's just an <laughs> odd little bowl of soup there <laughs> Sorry, you had some unusual makeup in this movie. Uh, what did you think of it? Well, I realized last night it's not about being attractive. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about what pleases me. No. It's about being a team player. I think you accomplished that 50s thing. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> I surrounded. It. <laughs> it was, um, I think it was really my first entrance into, into character work. Well, did you did you study uh, your subject? As best as I could, uh, my threshold could bear. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I watched Glenn or Glenda a lot, and I read what was the book? Oh, Nightmare of Ecstasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which had all those interviews yeah. and um, and really, her work speaks for itself. It does. Like, <laughs> loud, incredibly loud clear. <laughs> it somehow dictated everything else for me. Once I was able to. Um, capture her rigidity and her lack of instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Did the, uh, what, will you, what will be your next projects, respectively? What are you going to do next? Um, I, just, I just finished a thing called Don Juan to Marco in the Centerfold, mm -hmm. which was uh, a good experience, and I'm going to do a thing with Jim Jarmusch called Dead Man. Yourself? Um, well, uh, I have a movie coming out called Miami Rhapsody. And, um, Is it good? Well... That's not for me to say. Is it good? It's, um, it's, it's, 
diametrically opposed to this movie, but I guess that doesn't mean it's bad, right? It's no, it's a Disney right film though. as well, I and it's a romantic know. comedy, which I respond well to, and I had a good time, and now I'm on a sabbatical. Oh.